Good morning. We have your Thursday morning announcements. And first of all, we'll do birthdays. Uh, happy birthday today to Nayana Cotton, Kristen Rick, Jory Soper, Ebony Watkins, and Elijah White. Five warrior birthdays today on this January 7th. Study table today after school in 118B at ACDEC today after school in 148. Hey, we've got lots going on here tonight, lots of fun stuff. If you want to see our freshman basketball teams, you can see, uh, let's see, Wash Red play at 530 and Wash Blue play at 7 against the two Iowa City teams. Wrestlers on the road up at Waller tonight. Girls freshman game postponed, but there is a boys JV game uh, here against City High at 730 in RGM. We have a college visit coming up on January 11th. This, this, some of these really selective schools only come by our school out here in the Midwest uh, every couple, three years or so. And uh, on the 11th, uh, Yale University will be here on a special mission for that because they may not be back soon. So if you're in any grade and have any interest at all in Yale University, one of the most prestigious Ivy League colleges in America, well, I plan on that and get a pass in your concert. It'll be at 8.30 in the concert office on January 11th. I think that'd be next Monday. Here are your lunch choices. Chicken fajitas with Spanish rice and fajita veggies. Or you could go with a spicy, spicy chicken patty on a bun. Or maybe Asian, this is ethnic day I guess, or Asian rice bowl. Or grilled cheese sandwich or specialty pizza. And I almost forgot to mention that also tonight, show choir extravaganza. They're going to run their shows twice. So if you come at 6, you'll be able to see Vivace, Sally, and Mo. Uh, I'll go through the entire shows, then we take a short break, and at approximately 7, we see uh, the three shows all over again. So I'm looking forward to that. They begin their competition season out of Prairie on Saturday. So this is their final run-through dress rehearsal. Uh, it's going to be exciting. That will be in the auditorium tonight, 6 and 7, for all three show choirs. Uh, now this information from your concerts. All students should review their second semester schedules as soon as possible. I think you just go into power school, you can see them. If there are changes you would like to make, see your counselor before the end of the semester. Don't be one of those students caught in those ridiculously long lines at the beginning of the next semester trying to get a schedule change when you can get it done effortlessly now. So check your schedule. If you have trouble getting to it, why well, stop by and see your counselor. They help you with that. And let them know if there are any changes necessary. And also from the counseling office, they receive the number of new scholarship opportunities. Uh, many of them only for Washington students, so check out the scholarship page on the Washington Consular website or stop by the Consular office and pick up the latest copy of the scholarships that are available. A couple of quick sports results. I do want to give some credit to our sophomore men's basketball team. They picked up a great win. They had a 49-48 to lead. This was against City High two nights ago. They had a 49-48 to lead with 2.8 seconds left in the game. And City I was taking the ball out, uh, uh, led to a turnover. We got the ball. They had to foul, uh, and uh, Travis Metzger made both free throws to give the Warriors a, I think, 51 to 48 win. And uh, also a tip of the hat to Colin Westmoreland. He led the offensive attack with 17 points. Mick McCurry behind the 11. Drew Christensen then with eight. John K. Collins with seven, and Travis Metzger with six. And Coach McCurry also wanted to give special mention for outstanding play to Nolan Potter, Jacob Ackenstead, and Max Campbell. All the Warriors in action tomorrow night uh, against uh, Hempstead. Boys up there, girls down here. And then swim team, I'll hit that real quick. Uh, they took uh, two victories that same night, two nights ago, Tuesday night, over at Crosstown Rival Kennedy. Uh, varsity won 101 to 69, JV's 92 to 78. Warriors led by four quad event winners. Two guys won four different events. They were, uh, of course, Cameron Kelly and Nick Saulnier, <coughs> a couple of awesome uh, swimmers. And then Caleb Donalds was the triple winner. So great job, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. We also had some outstanding performances turned in by Evan Stewart, Mitch House, Quentin Gay, uh, Mitchell Dake, and Thomas Corbett, and Will Hernandez, and the Midley Relay team of House, Nathaniel Burke, uh, Michael Simino and Gabe Rico. So more sports results later. That's all I have time for today. It looks like uh, Mr. McWhorter has an announcement. Time for some Warriors resolutions for 2016. That means shenanigans with computers, computer labs, computer tables, etc. 
I trust that all of you will refrain from doing so. It is very much appreciated having recently dislocated an ankle. I'm getting phone calls to come and fix rotated screens. Uh, the fact that people are cranking up tables in lab 133, which I'm going to soon fix that that can no longer be done. You're stretching out the cables or dislocating them from the back of the actual PC for me, as well as power and everything else. So New Year's resolution, help me out. I would extremely appreciate it. Also, on a brighter note, improv pictures from December are up on the website, as well as wrestling pictures, the gingerbread houses that were made in uh, Frau White's room are up there. The boys games from the other night, or at least the varsity game is going to be up shortly, as well as the swim team. Senior night pictures. All seniors who are in speech uh, in Miss Tinkham's room today, there will be a short meeting to talk about pictures. Uh, if you can't make it, just come find me to get a sheet with information. Thanks. Just a reminder that sophomore class apparel is due this Friday. You need to turn in the order form and the money to Mr. Dewar. Thanks. Photo club today after school from two or from three fifteen to four thirty in room two seventeen. Up on by. WLB meets today after school in room two thirty two. And as we do every year for the love issue, we encourage anonymous love letters, so please submit to our love issue. At our latest issue, What the Future Holds, will be on sale in Mr. Dewar's room here shortly. GSA will be meeting in my room today after school, and I misspoke. Today is the day we'll be doing our gift exchange. Thank you. And that's a wrap for today's announcements. I'll see you tonight for freshman and JV basketball, and over the auditorium for all our show choirs. Have a great day.